Hey everyone, a lot of people struggle with coming up with win cons for these cases where a buffer goes to two targets on the same dedge. In this video, I'll show you how to generate good algs for these types of cases as well as the algs that I personally use. Before we get into the content though, please consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more videos like this one. And with that said, please enjoy the video. So we'll start off by discussing why these cases are so bad and general principles that we can apply to solve these cases. If we look at a case like UFR, BDL, DBR, one thing you might notice is that you can't move this piece over to here in a single move. That's just not possible. You can do it in two, for example, with L wide prime U2, but there's no way to do it in one, so these two pieces will never be interchangeable. And even if you do find an interchange with the buffer, for example, here and here is an R2 interchange, this piece doesn't have a three move insert into either here or here, and it won't into here or here either. So you can't form pure eight movers out of this, and essentially if you keep these pieces joined together, you will never find an eight mover. And that's really bad. So essentially, your best bet is to split them up somehow, like this, and now we have these D2 interchangeable, and then create a pure commutator out of that. So in this case, um, it's also worth mentioning that when you do a quarter turn uh, inner slice move like this, you always get a half turn interchange between the two pieces, which you want to use to your advantage as much as possible. So, in this case, our buffer kind of moved up here, and it can't really insert into either of these spots right now. But if we move it out of the way first, like this, and then bring this up, now we have an 8 mover, which we can solve like this. And so, we found our first ALG, and for the inverse, it's very similar. We, can, we have here to here to here, move it out of the way, and then we bring this up, but we also have to do an R-wide slice after, so we just cancel the two moves like that. And we've done that. And you might also be wondering why I'm not doing the setup as a slice move. Doesn't that save, you on, save your regrip? Well, kind of. It adds two quarter turns at the cost of two regrips. But if you look at these regrips, we can regrip during a D2, and then we can half roll that. So these regrips are extremely soft to begin with, and for me, it's not worth doing that. But if you find it worthwhile to do this as a slice setup, that is completely worthwhile if it works for you. This case and its inverse follow the exact same concept. We have UFR to DLB to LDF, and you essentially just do a D prime, put these in DB, and it's the same outcome there. Just like that. The inverse here to here to here. Exactly like this. This case follows the same principle. We have here to here to here into a D move and this goes into DV. So just like that. For the inverse, same thing once again. Just like this. Um, there is an alternative alg, however, if you happen to prefer it where you can split this dedge up here by doing an F wide prime. So now these are interchangeable on R2, like this, and this can insert with D prime R prime D. This case, here to here to here, is a little bit different. What we're going to do is split up these pieces using an R wide, and then we'll take this interchange right here and we'll do an RFF com just like that. And the inverse operates the same way. This case with the targets in UB operates in a very similar way to the last one. We'll split them up with R wide prime, F prime to put these in place, and now we have this interchange right here. So we can do like that. Two once again, here to here to here, split it up, put them in position, just like that. 
This case with the targets in UR is quite unique because there are a lot of algs that people use that I think are all pretty decent. What I do personally is split these up with F wide prime, creating a U2 interchange and this really nice insertion with R prime, U wide prime, R. So you can just finish off the column like that. And for the inverse, it's the same principle. So the other algs that people use that I think are quite good are bringing this out using R UI2 or a U slice to R prime puts this right here. And then we have an eight mover just like that. And the last alg that I think is viable if it works for you is U prime R wide U. We have one piece back here and then these two are interchangeable with R prime. So we can do like that. So to show you that one more time, U prime R wide U, just like that. This case looks like it should be pretty similar to the previous one, but it actually isn't. Uh, what we're going to do, oh, we have these pieces in UL right here, is an F2 slice to bring this down here, R wide sets up these two here, and now we have an eight mover like this. So that's what it looks like done fast. Inverse is the same way. You have that and the eight mover and this cancels a little bit. There's a very similar alg which some people use. It essentially involves, instead of doing an F2 slice at the beginning, just do an F. And that puts this right here and we have a similar A mover but with a U2 insertion. This doesn't work quite as well for me, but um, I think it's very much personal preference and you can take your pick on which one you like more. For this case where the targets are on FR, the way you can solve this is to do a U prime slice to make these interchangeable with R2 and a U at the same time to bring this over here. Now when you do an R prime, this is in here and we can do an insertion with U prime R, R slice U and just finish the alg off like that. That's what it looks like faster. And for this inverse, uh, the principle is the same, but the execution is a little bit more tricky. There are two main styles that I think are both pretty viable for this case. The first is rolled like this. That's what it looks like a little bit slower. And the second is regripless. Like that. I think both are quite viable and depending on which you're more comfortable with or with uh, on, on what works in the moment, you can take your pick. I don't think there are really many other good algs for the case in particular though, so just take your pick on which execution style you favor essentially. For this case where the targets are in BL, I use a similar sort of thing where I do U wide prime to separate these and make an L2 interchange. And then essentially I just do the commutator from before, or a very similar one, and I just use the rolled style for this. And then for the inverse, it's just like that. It's actually quite simple. There are a lot of bad outs that people use for this case. But I think this is pretty much the only one I'd recommend people use unless something better is found. It's quite nice though. Uh, don't be fooled by some of the algs that uh, many people use and that I used to use as well. <laughs> For this case with the pieces in BR, what I'll do is a U wide two to split these two up and an R prime to make a U layer interchange. And now we just have a nice eight mover, just like that. It's extremely fast and the inverse is as well. One of the best algs for this set, I think, and it's, not one that should really require much thinking eventually. It's um, much better than any of the alternative options. I would hands down recommend using this. Finally, here's the last case. Targets and FL. Uh, it's the same thing. You do a U wide two to split these up and an L prime to make the interchange. And then you can just do your commutator just like that. Not quite as fast as the last case, but again, definitely the best alg for the case, unless something's better is found, in my opinion. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from the demonstrations here. 
you have some insight and would like to share an algorithm or an execution that you prefer over the ones in this video, please leave them in the comments. They're greatly appreciated. Once again, please consider leaving a like and subscribing as it helps my channel out. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.